All right, people, Catfish Dave here. It is November. We had a real hard cool spell, then we're slowly getting back into this warmer spell, and then it's supposed to rain tomorrow and get colder again. Either way, uh, I'm doing something close to the house today, Cherokee Reservoir. I don't catch the numbers of fish that I do in Fort Loudon or Watts Bar, but you know what? I don't have to fight that Knoxville traffic. Much nicer ride, cheaper on me. A lot quicker to get here and get back home and it's just uh it's quieter here i like it you know you don't catch the numbers but you can catch some good ones if you can go through the work of finding them either way i enjoy it so this is what we're going to do today i've got old bait i mean this stuff is old it's a week old been down in this icy, salty brine stuff I've been working with. It looks like I have got two skipjack in here that I caught like a week ago. And about six of these shad. They've been, they're hard as a rock. Listen to this. They're hard. Uh, what we're gonna use I've been sitting at the ramp a little longer than I wanted to, tried to get an earlier start, but there's some weirdo just hanging out in his car. And here it is November, and he gets out fully dressed, and there's this bass tournament launching, and they're watching him too. And this dude just walks in the lake, fully dressed, don't take his shoes off, don't take his socks off, and just dives in the water. And then he gets back and sits in his car with these wet clothes on, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I, I just, I had to watch him for a bit. I let him know I was watching him. And as a matter of fact, I can still see the parking lot from here, so. When he realized I didn't get out of sight and that I was watching him, he finally took off. He might come back, but he knows that I know that he ain't right. Either way, we're looking for a bite. Water temps, 66 degrees. It's all a matter of finding these fish. And when you find some, you can find some good ones. It can take a bit to find them, but we're going to find some. There is a ton of bait on the bottom here in 59 foot. That's a good thing. That means the fish will be on the bottom. I have seen these winter situations, or going into winter, and you come out and you don't mark no fish, no catfish on the bottom, and you see all the bait on the top of the water across the whole lake. And you're, that's when your big fish are actually suspended. You're not gonna catch them dragging when they're suspended like that. Yeah, there's a lot of bait down there. I like this. We may have hit the right spot. I'm catching all my fish, all my good fish on chunks. We ain't catching them on no uh, head pieces. We are, but nothing decent. Before this day is over with, we're going to hook a fat cat. I can barely get this bait on the hook. It's froze solid, man. Yeah. It went from freshly being caught to frozen solid within minutes. So it should retain its freshness, even though it's old. I don't think we're going to do good on gizzard shad. And the reason for that is the water temperature. 
I don't do good on gizzard shad this time of year in the Tennessee River. I'm doing better on skipjack with the water temp in the 60s. Even though they say you don't use skipjack in this lake, they won't eat it. Bull. That's what I've been catching them on. I have caught a couple on the shed. You may be better off, I mean, using crappie or bluegill or something than a shad right now. I don't know. But I'm going to stick it on there because every day these fish might want something a little different. We're going to put at least one piece on and it will be a head bait. The only thing I don't like about fishing this lake is the number of channel cats here and they will wear your baits out. When you can use head pieces and that's what they're hitting, well they stay on the hook longer and it'll take some abuse from them channel cat. But these chunks, and especially once these chunks have been frozen, they do get a little softer on the hook. And it don't take nothing for one of them pesky channel cat to knock them off. My guess is the fish are probably going to be in the 40 foot to 20 foot range and we're starting off in 60 just to get set up. Now when this water temp hits 50 degrees and lower, uh, that gizzard shad is going to be a hot bait. Once we get it to about December, I just about quit using skipjack and use nothing but shad up until about March. Once the skipjack start getting easy to catch around March, the water temps have usually warmed up enough that they become a good bait again. I'd like to come over here one day with the whole smorgasbord, live baits, bluegills, the, some crappie, the whole nine yards. But it's a lot of work catching four or five different kinds of bait. It's tough enough just to come up with a skipjack and shad. You spend too much time fishing for bait, and you ain't fishing for catfish. Well, all right, y'all, we're getting into the shallow end of this thing. And that's usually going to produce channel cat, but I'll get all the way to the end of it just to see. Most likely, that's all we're going to see. Is a channel cat going this shallow right now. Now you get about March of the year, you can catch some giants up here in four foot of water. Well, all right, y'all. We uh, tried into some shallow water, and there wasn't a squat there. I was initially marking bait deep, as deep as 60 foot. So we are now pulling deeper water. I'm in about 50 foot right here. We're going to run right along this bank here, along all these little islands and stuff, in deep water. And I honestly expect the bite to get better later in the afternoon. Fish I've been catching has been in the mud, so... Left board was real deep. And I had it way out there.
old hard fighting, hard pulling channel cat out there in 60 foot of water. This lake has got a lot of channel cat. I'm not a fan of channel cats, but that's not a bad channel cat. Well, all right, y'all. We're just having to illuminate a lot of water. And you can see by the size of this lower end of this reservoir, there's a lot of water out here. This is a way to illuminate it. And some of it, again, is a time of day thing, I believe. I believe later on it's going to get better. You never catch a lot of fish out of this lake, but you can catch some good ones. If we catch three or four blue catfish, we've had a pretty good day. While I'm waiting on the fish to bite, I'm going to bite on this boar's head Italian sub from the Publix. That ain't no channel cat. Yep, that ain't no channel cap. Solid fish.
right, y'all. I'm filming with my camera. I just got a picture of this fish and that middle rod went down with the shad on it. This is why I like to fish this lake right here. This ain't no Fort Lousy with 20 dinks. You work for these, but when you get one, you can get a good one. This feels more like a channel cat here on this uh, gizzard shad piece. Cherokee Lake Channel Catfish. That's what you want for a fish sandwich right there. Another Cherokee Lake Channel catfish. They have hit all my baits, so I'm gonna have to check all my baits. It ain't no channel cat, I'll tell you that. Catfish now. A striper, he'd be making some runs and some good shakes, so it's just an aggressive blue cat. Another quality blue catfish. That fish was actually caught shallow, 20 foot. It was just scattered. Slender fish there. Oh, old fast fish right there. Yeah. That's why I fish Cherokee Lake right there. Another channel cat after me. There's lots of those in here. 
As you can see, this is a lot nicer country than downtown Knoxville. I'm not going to have a 30 to 50 fish day out here, but I like it better. Ain't no one needs to catch that many fish no how. That's an ornery old channel kit right there. That's mostly what's in this lake. And you gotta weed through them. Yeah. Nice quality channel kit. took my bait that I don't have a lot of. The fish was in 47 foot. The fish are running deep, even the channel cats. Whoever said that skipjack uh, was not good in this lake probably tried to use it at a time it wasn't good. There's times it's not good in the Tennessee River. But I've took it to many lakes that did not have native skipjack and caught catfish on them. So these water temps in the 60s, blue cat eat skipjack. I don't care where you're at. so he don't pull a hook. This is a good one here, boy. Yeah, that's a good one. Slow this boat down. Make sure the camera's on so I'm getting paid. Yeah, I'm getting paid. feels heavy. Feels heavy.
we have the biggest fish of the day. That's a tub right there. That is a tub right there. That's a barrel. All right, y'all. This is why I like fishing Cherokee Lake right here. That is a fat, fat, heavy fish. Heavy, man. All right, y'all, I need to make me a thumbnail for a big fish I caught. Let's see if this works here. Let's take a picture of it. I just hope I don't get bit while I'm doing this. That worked pretty good. Us YouTubers got to get paid. I was using a 20 pound anchor and it was too hard to get back up. It was hard on my rods. That's perfect right there. Courtesy of old uh, Cat River Anchors. I guess he called it a kayak anchor. I need some uh, views on that 60 pounder video. Well, all right, y'all. You can see the reasons I fish Cherokee Lake. Beautiful scenery. You don't get the numbers of fish that you do down in Fort Loudon and Watts Bar. But if you can put the time in and cover some ground and locate those fish, you can catch some big fish here. A little bit of weird stuff at the ramps, but that's at every boat ramp in America. Hope you all enjoyed this video. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes the fishing video. This is Catfish Day with another one, signing out.